kind of an education right from the age of three when we start going to those play schools and we have forgotten in the process the deep inquiry the deep inquiry that each one of us should have done you guys should have done maybe 25 years back I should have done about 45 years back as to how does this nature work and nature function we have lost complete dichotomy we have lost track of what this nature is and if we are not able to do that inquiry ultimately what is scientific research that we are doing I have been doing for donkey years 25 years research in Baba Atomic Research Center is only to go to this process of uh, how does nature function how are we here today as in this particular organic form we have certainly gone into a very different realm of uh, getting into a conventional way of first law of Newton's and second law of Newton and then we went to went to the the quantum and quantum we went to now strings people are questioning strings but this is all an external fed uh, knowledge I would call garbage which has been carried through and again when it happens in the engineering education I find I'm sorry to say this I find that this is the place where all your innovation get quenched the reason is again the kind of subject that has been talked about we we actually are designed because I whenever I interview a lot of these engineers I find that their information has on physics chemistry has been below than what they were at 12th standard they were all bright students but if I ask them few fundamental questions how a polar bond is constituted why a particular sigma bond cannot happen they feel that oh why this bloody chemistry why we have to learn all these things at engineering so my premise is that there has been certain amount of uh, fundamental structural difference which is lacking engineering as a science is a dying field of uh, field of uh, science and technology I wouldn't like to blame all the blame onto IT and saying that IT pays there's a people go there it is a white collar clerical job all kinds of things because ultimately young guys like you are more interested in what makes you ultimately create wealth and that's very important my young boy here I mean I'm, I'm proud I mean I, I don't know how much uh, any amount of praise is uh, is less for for this person for doing what he has done and for doing that it has to start at very young age but I'm not saying that all is lost if you can revisit even now this inquiry then it is possible that another dimension will open up for us now as far as this funding is concerned I'll take two minutes chairman and uh, close my opening remarks as far as funding is concerned this fundamentally is a non-issue for me we need to fund we need to fund it liberally people have been asking the same question should government spend 765 crores to my previous organization department of atomic energy public sector government is spending 145 crore rupees in 245 institutions whose return on investment is less than barely two percent but the issue is should we do it should government get into this business of business is a huge question because there are certain things in a given India's topology and geopolitical sense that certain amount of funding certain amount of activity in a remote place like this country is essential and government funding has to take place if at all it has to get multiplied I feel to the higher education by 100 times thank you very much wonderful Dr. Sonde I just remember that he had become so nostalgic when we were in the guest house he's telling me about how this institute owns a private beach it was a bit tough for me to drag him to this panel discussion because he wanted to run away to the beach I think uh, uh, well said Dr. Sonde but let's go to other extreme somebody who didn't care for uh, the so-called lack of spirit of inquiry that one finds generally in this country he inquired, he inquired for a purpose of building a business, a very noble thing, and an extraordinary success at, at a very, very young age. 
let's uh, listen to Suhas Gopinath on uh, what does he feel about the higher education, particularly in the context of encouraging entrepreneurship? Because that's an important aspect. So us. Uh, of course, I'm also a six-semester student in engineering in uh, Bangalore, and uh, uh, yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, like I, it's, uh, I would like to share a small incident. I visited my school. Uh, I visited my school for their sports day some, I suppose, a month back, and I see. Uh, like actually when I was walking in my school, I saw in one of uh, in one of the high school room, I saw one of the lecturers. Uh, one of the lecturer used to say one of the student that if you are not able to complete your homework, uh, I don't think like I'm afraid if you're be, if you'll be employed by a company like Infosys or Wipro. And of course, it was it was literally mentioned. I'm like I'm sorry, Arun, but yeah. And uh, and actually, it is where like it is where I felt that the. Uh, Exactly, as, like, as Mr. R. R. Sunday, he, like, he mentioned, that is, at least at the school level, we should start emphasizing about entrepreneurship and it is not about a placement. And, and I, see the, I see the school staff emphasizing or the faculty keep on emphasizing the students that if you're not able to complete your homework, you wouldn't be getting placed or, or you wouldn't be an engineer. But I never see anyone saying that, okay, fine, if you're not able to work hard, I don't think you would be a successful entrepreneur. And at the same time, uh, I don't think the I don't think the central government is is emphasizing or funding much about entrepreneurship or how establishing entrepreneurship cell because like actually when I myself had to start an organization at the age of 14 and and uh, and of course in India uh, like actually we also have the engineers who complete their engineering uh, engineering at the well established institutions but afterwards, everyone starts applying, applying or circulating their CVs to everyone. But I never see anyone who is having an idea to set up an organization as a fresher. And at the same time, uh, entrepreneurship is not, is not much looked into it by the higher education or the, uh, or the elite institutions, according to me. And even the incubators are like... Uh, like I haven't seen much of incubators, and and in my own and in my own story, it was like it was very unfortunate. I had to uh, I had to establish a headquarters in the United States, and I being an Indian, like I feel very sad when I'm uh, when I'm heading a multinational company which is headquartered in the United States, and and my company is uh, probably my company is making a small contribution with the United States economy. So I think uh, I think the higher education. Uh, or the elite institutions of a country should start looking into entrepreneurship and and the uh, and the entrepreneurial spirit among youngsters should be encouraged a lot because I see like I see the advertisements I see the promotions where they where they speak about the uh, placements and the recruitments and all such activities but I never have seen any elite institutions. Uh, looking about the entrepreneurship or or India is not having a lot many focused entrepreneurship institutes. I assume that uh, India has only one entrepreneurship cell which is which is funded by the Indian government. I I feel EDI is funded by the Indian government I guess. Yeah I think I think EDI is the only institute in India which is funded by the Indian government and uh, I mean like it's very sad that uh, uh, our educational system is not it's not much looking into the entrepreneurship or, or the aspirant entrepreneurs. And, uh, and I think funding and incubators and such entrepreneurial workshops is very much required for, uh, for the aspirant entrepreneurs. And unless and until entrepreneurship is ignited among students, I don't think that India would have, uh, India would have enough amount of enterprises and, and, it would, and it would be very unfortunate for our for India to export our Indian knowledge abroad and and, uh, and of course it's very sad to see Indians working abroad uh, and of course helping helping other educational institutions uh, and in case if India has its own enterprises here I think I think we would be making our small effort in at least in reducing the unemployment problem in India thanks a lot thank you Thank you, Swas. Uh, before requesting the next speaker, let me just uh, share uh, some more information on the entrepreneurship and a, a simple story. Uh, I started a business, IT business incubator in our school of IT when I set it up in 1998. And the first set of business proposals and technology proposals that we were evaluating 
uh, one of the boys he proposed